Good morning, lovely humans. Here we are again, Bobbin and Badger, with another how to tutorial. So, today we are going to focus on creating a foundation chain. Now, a foundation chain in crochet is what a lot of projects are based on. So, once you can do a foundation chain, you can do a short foundation chain and make a bookmark, or you could do a long foundation chain and make a scarf or a blanket. So it is a very useful thing to be able to do. So I'm going to take my 4mm hook. This is my favourite hook. It is a pony flare hook made from maple. It feels really nice in your hand. And just a double knit or a DK wool just to get us started. Okay, so we're going to take the end of our yarn and we are going to make a slip knot. Now, I've made hundreds and thousands of these, which means I can do them fairly quickly. But if you are just starting out, this is how you do it. So you're going to take the end of your yarn, wrap it around two fingers, and then you're going to push this part of the yarn up into the loop you've made. Keep hold of it, keep hold of the end, and you can pull it tight there. Now, slip knots are very useful because once you have it, if you pull it, it pops out of the yarn and it's like it never was. So I'll show you that again. So we're going to take our yarn around two fingers and we're going to put this part of the yarn up through the hole, grab hold of it, keep it tight, and then you have your slip knot to start. You can do it with a hook if that's easier. So wrap it around. You're going to go fishing through the loop you've made for that stray piece of yarn and you can pull it up that way. Just be careful that you don't pull this end through otherwise you'll have to start again and you can tighten it. And it can be a big slip knot but if you pull gently gently you'll be able to pull your slip knot so it sits nicely on your hook. Okay, once we have our slip knot on our hook we can start our foundation chain. So to make a chain, it's quite simple really, you're going to hook the wool from the back to the front and you're going to pull what you've just made through your slip knot and you have one loop on your hook and you have chained one stitch. So we'll go again, so you can pinch that if that makes it easier. You're going to wrap the yarn around the hook back to front, you're going to use the hook to catch hold of that and you're going to pull it through and we now have a chain two. So again back to front, you're going to pull the yarn through the loop using the hook and we now have a chain three. So once you get good and comfy creating these chain stitches then you are away for whatever project you are starting. So if you were, for example, going to make a bookmark, this foundation chain would then grow that way and you could make a nice bookmark for someone as a gift or you could carry on your chain until it was the width of a scarf and that is a bigger project but a good one to use if you are practicing and you are trying to get good at your basic stitches. So this is your foundation chain and in the next video we will look at how you can build that up into an item or an object or something that is useful that you can crochet. And that's it. Easy peasy. Thank you very much.